I'm sorry I didn't get to see Emma. Yeah, when she's sleeping, we usually like to leave her that way, so. Yeah, I'm surprised Max didn't wake up with that rant. <laughs> oh, come on. Be easy on her. Maxie's been through a lot in her life. Oh, and we all haven't? It's just some people think that Maxie is just a pretty face, but she's more than that. So, because she's not a bimbo, I should keep my distance or something. No, Robin's not, she's not, you're not saying that. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying she's more vulnerable than you might think. So, I'm not good enough for her. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. Okay, all right, that's good. That's good, because I like Maxie. And she is so fixated on not going out with me, it's going to be fun to prove her wrong. See, I can you're understand that. I, that's kind of like the challenge thing, you know, but all I think what we're saying is just proceed at your own risk I Don't want to get further than you think you're getting. You no, know. it's just it's casual. It's dinner movie. Whatever happens next. It's Casual There are patients who need my golden touch. So um, I'm gonna get going. It's great seeing you guys. Yeah, bro Take it easy. Bye. Sis. Thanks for coming over. Good seeing you and uh, Tell Emma I'm sorry I missed her He is so your brother, it is stunning. Meaning what? Meaning I'm sure he has many good qualities. Oh, you mean underneath all that ego? <laughs> Come on, admit it. He is so your former arrogant, skirt-chasing self. Uh, I'm taller. Please do not encourage him to go after my cousin. You heard me. I said proceed at your own risk. Yeah, you might as well, you know, wave a red flag in front of a bull. Come on, he's going to mess with Maxie. She's going to fall apart, and then I'm going to have okay. to pick up all the pieces. Why are we discussing this? It's pretty obvious that Maxie hates Matt. Actually, it kind of reminds me of the way we were. <laughs> Come to think of it, you couldn't resist me. My father uses me as his excuse for all the terrible things he does. The last thing I want to do is move out back to that house. Of course, I don't really have much of a future in mopping floors anyway. I have an idea of Newtonian brilliance. The ace of cyberspace will teach the reformed one the glories of computer science. Such knowledge can lead to a host of jobs from, yes, the mundane, but also the severely awesome. Okay, maybe I will take you up on that, Spinelli, sometime, but, I mean, I gotta focus on getting a paycheck ASAP. I can't keep lying to Lulu about a job that I don't have. Spinelli, there you are. I don't see why we haven't... Hey! Uh, Lulu told me that you were working. I thought you got a job at the hospital. I lied. Hey, but, Maxie, you can't tell Lulu about this, okay? Yeah, whatever, but why would... Never mind. I lie all the time. Thanks, Maxie. I owe you. Whatever. Hey, Johnny, any lie you tell, no matter how necessary it seems at the moment, always potentially can come back and bite you in the butt. I'll make this really simple for you. I want my land back, and I want the matter settled today. Why are you suddenly in my face making demands? I'll, I'll give you 20% on top of what you paid for Spoon Island, and then I lift the injunction. That's a generous oh, offer, don't oh. you think? Let me think about that. Um, let's see. Uh, hmm. You see, I bought Spoon Island as an investment property to build a, a spa and a resort, golf courses, condos along the right. side, you know, that sort of thing. What I'm trying to get at, Nicholas, is that it's worth a hell of a lot more than 20%. Well, it's more than just a plot of land to me, so you consider this fair warning. Sell me back my home. Or you can kiss that precious little wing of yours goodbye, yeah, and okay. I won't stop that. Hey, you gentlemen, you brought gentlemen, this on yourself when you guests. walked in here when Carly, Carly was vulnerable, and you helped yourself to this hotel. The same way you helped yourself to Courtney. You remember her, don't you? Mm-hmm. All right, all right, all right. This is not a street corner in Bensonhurst, okay? Gentlemen, there is no need to ruin your beautiful suits. I'm sure we can discuss this like rational. Discuss? There's Human nothing beings. to discuss. You have fun waiting until next spring. Okay. Miss Courtney, or do I even want to know? He's an arrogant son of a bitch. Well, relax, Mr. Jax. You have not been outmaneuvered yet. Where'd you get that? Right out of the arrogant son of a bitch's pocket. Mr. Zakar would like for you to understand that just because Sonny has a new position with the Zakar organization, that does not guarantee your safety. If you'd like for me to dumb it down for you, whatever loyalty Sonny once had for you, that's officially over. So we're not obliged to keep the peace because you and Sonny were, what did you call it once? Oh, yes, closest brothers. Not so much anymore, huh? You done? No, I'm not. Any further interference in our organization will bring us full-scale retaliation. Now you're done. 
I don't know, maybe you don't realize the hole that you're digging for yourself. Maybe you're just too proud to face the facts, but you cannot possibly compete with these cars now that Sonny's in with us. What are you doing here? Bet it's not a social call. I understand you're putting together a fundraiser for uh, pediatric hand injuries. Don't worry, I won't be there. But you will get a contribution. I don't get it. How is it that Sonny can trust him, but he can't trust you? 